so hi everyone so this is Jatin so in this video I will share with you all guys my presentation yes a presentation on topologies uh, as you all know that I have opted for computer science in class 12 so I was assigned a project basically a presentation to be made on a topic when you will be in class 12 you will be assigned a project work basically along with other topics included in your syllabus and along with that you also have to make a presentation so yes and i have also made a presentation on topologies so have a look Good morning sir, I am Jatin Saini and here is my presentation on network topologies. So let's begin. Outlines are topology, physical topology and logical topology, types of topology. So what is topology? The pattern of interconnection of nodes in a network is called topology or the network topology. Physical topology. A physical topology details how devices are physically connected. Logical topology. A logical network topology is a conceptual representation of how devices operate at particular layers of abstraction. Now, here are some types of network topology. The star topology, the bus topology, the ring or circular topology, the mesh topology and the tree topology. Now, here we see the pictorial representation of some network topology. Now, let's discuss about the star topology. So this topology consists of a central node, connectors to which all other nodes are connected by a single path. It is used in most existing information network involving data processing or voice communication, as you can clearly see in the diagram. Now let's discuss about some advantages of the star topology. It is easy to install and wire. No disruption to the network takes place while connecting or removing devices. It is easy to detect faults and to remove parts. Roughness. If one link fails, only that link is affected. All other links remain active. Now let's discuss the disadvantages associated with the star topology. It requires more cable length than a linear topology. If the hub, switch and connectors fails, node attached are disabled. It is more expensive than linear bus topologies because of the cost of the hub. Now the bus or linear topology. A bus topology consists of a single cable called a bus connecting all nodes on a network without intervening connectivity devices as you can clearly see in the diagram. Let's discuss about some advantages of the bus topology. Less cable and installation cost, therefore it is cheap in design. Use of twisted pair and coxible cable provide moderate data speed. Failure of one node will not affect the other node, hence it is more rubs topology. Widely used where network design need to be simple or temporary. Now let's also discuss some disadvantages of the bus topology. The fault in the central cable will affect all the nodes associated with it. The identification of faults in the central cable requires special skills and tools. The addition of more nodes will utilize more bandwidth accordingly. The repetitors are required as the signal loss is comparatively high. Now, our next one is the ring or circular topology. A ring network is one where all workstation and other devices are connected in a continuous loop. There is no central server. Now some advantages. Easy installation of the new node. 
cheap design in contrast to the bus topology the ring handles the traffic better for node management it does not need any server or controller now some disadvantages if one node became faulty then it will affect the whole network the average bandwidth can be bottlenecked in case there is any weak link adding more nodes to the network will accordingly result in more bandwidth utilization and communication delay Now let's discuss about the mesh topology. It is a point to point connection to other nodes or devices. Traffic is carried only between two devices or nodes to which it is connected. Now you can clearly see in the diagram. Now let's discuss about some advantages of the mesh topology. Every node has an independent connection to other nodes. availability of maximum bandwidth between the nodes and hence no traffic problems reliable network because the failure of one node will not affect the other nodes issue identification and rectification are easy now disadvantages are it is very costly topology due to high use of transmission media as the network grows it in fact became more difficult to manage installation is difficult now the last one but not the least the tree or expanded star topology it has a root node and all other nodes are connected to it forming a hierarchy it is also called hierarchical topology as you can clearly see in the diagram now some advantages of the tree topology are extension of burst and star topology expansion of node is possible and easy easily managed and maintained now some disadvantages associated with the tree topology are heavily cabled costly if more nodes are added maintenance is difficult central hub fails network Feels. Hope you like it. So, so this is the presentation which I have made on topologies. So yes, it was a topic in computer science. I have used various elements to make my presentation look attractive and impressive. Just like adding graphics, animations, and voice over it, and all small objects, pictures, and etc. Like that, so that my presentation will look attractive and impressive as well as. Now it's totally dependent on you that how you can make your presentation creative. You can add other elements also in your presentation, but don't forget that don't create mess in your presentation. It will it will be presentable, attractive and impressive as well as. So just consider it in your mind while making your presentation. So I hope this video will help all the class 12 computer science students uh, who are currently in class 12 and will be in class 12 soon so thank you for watching